Hey, what's shaking, homies? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to get a failed print off the FEP sheet on a resin style 3D printer. So normally when you get a failed print, it sticks to the FEP sheet instead of the build platform right here. So most people, what they do is they think, okay, I'm gonna take my 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 plastic or my metal scraper here and try to pry it up. Well, nine times out of ten, you'll damage the FEP sheet and you'll have to replace that, and it's a big pain. And I'm gonna show you guys a much, much, much easier way that you can do that. So I already took the resin out of it. So first step is you're gonna to wanna to put a mask on because you don't wanna breathe too much of this shit and you don't, and uh, put some gloves on. And then uh, we're gonna take this off. Sorry, it's really slippery. Got all this trace resin on it. I like that, help me get started. Come on, there we go. Okay, so you notice it's on there, you know, really good and it's a big failed print on there. So. First thing is make sure you have some paper towels and some rubbing alcohol. You want, you're gonna want like the 91% or higher. You don't want like the 70%. I mean, it'll still work, but it'll be a much bigger pain. So first thing, just with a dry rag, just try to get some of the excess, all the excess stuff. You know, you know, you don't want to reuse all this resin anyways. That's why you got the gloves on, that's why you got the mask. So, you know, make sure you have, you know, we you clean up all this stuff. Okay, so. Now that I got that, now I'm just going to pour some rubbing alcohol in here. Okay, so really simple. Take my rubbing alcohol. Take my resin vat. Just pour a little in there. And now all I'm going to have to do, you know, I'm going to want to get this, um, this will start to like break down the resin. And, okay, then really all I got to do is I just want to push from the bottom slightly. And as I rub it, and it'll start to just like come up by itself for the most part. Yeah. See if there's if it's as bad as mine, you might have to put a little more. Let's give it a little a good dousing. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that kind of sit on there for a minute. And I just want to use kind of push a little bit, get my hand under it, and you notice now the whole piece will just lift right up. So usually it'll come off a little easier than this one did. This one was a really bad failed print. So <laughs> there was a lot stuck to the build platform. But it was just a little and usually it comes off much easier. So now that you got all this rubbing alcohol in here, just kind of use that just to kind of, you know, clean everything off. So you're cleaning it off real good. And then wipe this down now with another paper towel just to kind of pick up some of that rubbing alcohol and you can kind of clean it off really, really good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna rinse that with some water and dry it off again. And then I'll actually, what I'll do is I'll rinse it off with water, dry it off, and then I'll take just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a clean rag and wipe it off real good. So it's really nice and clear and uh, it'll shine, you know, it'll go good through here. So then while I have this all open too, I'm going to take the time to, I'm going to clean off all this glass and everything. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Yeah, don't take your scraper to it. You'll damage the FEP sheet basically every time. Uh, this works basically every time too. You just, you know, be rubbing, a little rubbing alcohol. Uh, you probably won't have to use as much rubbing alcohol as I did, but if you do, rubbing alcohol is very cheap. So um, I hope that helps somebody that, uh, you know, has damaged their FEP sheet before and they want to know how not to. And sorry about my clock, I hate that thing. I forgot to turn it off and I'll see you guys later.